Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an H3 VR mod using the Delhi framework. First thing you need to do is download and install Visual Studio if you already have it. This allows you to edit C Sharp programs. I'm going to start up Visual Studio. And we're actually not going to be doing this stuff yet. First, we need to go and we need to go and clone the example mod repository from the Delhi GitHub page. You can do this by going to the GitHub for Delhi counter, which is a GitHub organization, and clicking Delhi example mod, or clicking the link that will be in the, dis clip the description. Create a GitHub account if you haven't already, and click use this template. Name it something. Uh, I'm going to name it uh, pan changing and cha put a description if you want. Keep it as public as open source open source contributions are very helpful and very valued in this modern community. And create repository for the template. Alright, once you have this, click the code button and then print, click the copy button or click on the link and press control C. Now go into Visual Studio and click clone a repository. This will allow you to take all the files from the cop from the copied mod into Visual Studio Code where you can where you can edit it. Choose a destination for the mod. You do have to select an open, uh, empty folder. And click clone. Once that's finished cloning, you'll have a solution view here. This will contain all the files and everything that's required for modding. Open Delhi mod uh, SRC. Now here you can see the example code which will run as soon as the program starts in this awake function. Uh, for this tutorial we shall not be using example resources which is a more advanced topic so I'm just going to delete this for now. And I'm going to delete these files right here. And also the resources we shall not need. Now we need to reference the H3VR assembly or the game's code. To do this, right click assemblies, press add assembly reference, press browse, and navigate to your H3VR install folder. For me, I have it pinned, but to find this, you can go into Steam, right click your H3VR install, manage, and browse local file. It's very recommended that you do pin your folder. Now, it, the H3VR code is in H3VR data, manage, assembly C -sharp .dll, and press OK. This will allow us to, to modify or use the H, existing H3VR code in our mod. Also, it is recommended that we also get the Unity files that came with H3VR as it allows us to use a lot of the functions in the H3VR code. So, again, the add assembly reference, browse, and go to H3VR managed folder. But this time, you're going to select Unity Engine.dll, control click, and press Unity Engine.ui.dll. Some some things do require in the UI. Now, if you have everything ready and there's no errors in the console or here it doesn't show like a yellow triangle, you have successfully set up your HCVR uh, mod for further programming and development. This is the first episode of a series I'm going to be doing on how to make an example mod which will change the color of 
your hand or your controller.